what is the greatest number by which when 156 are divided remainder is 6 that means there is a number which is dividing 156 remainder it is 6 the same number when it is dividing 181 the remainder it is 6 the same number when it is dividing 331 remainder it is 6 remainder it is 6 already we did a question similarly so n should be a factor of 156 minus 6 150 n should be a factor of 181 minus 6 175 n should be a factor of 331 minus 6 it is 325 and he is asking greatest number greatest means highest factor and highest is given by right 150 175 and 325 150 175 and 325 see here whenever you are determining hcf suppose hcf of 8 comma 32 it is there hcf of 8 comma 32 whenever you are doing hcf your attention is on smallest number lcm the attention will be on largest number smallest number it is 8 is 8 dividing 32 8 is dividing 32 so answer for this question is 8 whenever you are determining hcf Give an attention to the smallest number. Smallest number is 8. Smallest number should divide every other number. 8 is dividing 32. If it is not dividing, how to do? This example, 15, 25, 45. 15, 25, 45. Whenever you are doing HCF, attention should be on smallest number. Smallest number is 15 is 15 dividing every number 25 is not getting divided by 15 so take the factors of 15 factor for 15 is 5 if 15 is not dividing every number go to the factor of 15 5 is 5 dividing 25 5 fives are 25 5 nines are 45 so answer for this question is 5 answer for this question is 5 whenever you are doing hcf whenever you are doing hcf whenever you are doing hcf you will first check with the smallest number you will first check with the smallest number if smallest number is dividing every other number then smallest number is the answer if it is not dividing you will take the factor of the smallest number you will take the factor of the smallest number you will take the factor of the smallest number if it is lcm you will concentrate on the largest number you will concentrate on the largest number if a largest number is is not a multiple you will take the multiple of the largest number simple definition of lcm and hcf Simple definition of HCF and LCF. HCF means you will concentrate on the smallest number. Smallest number should divide every other number. If smallest number is dividing every number, smallest number is the HCF. If it is not dividing, you will go to the factor of the smallest number. You will go to the factor of the smallest number. If it is LCM, you will check the largest number. If the largest number is a multiple of every other number, largest number is the answer. If it is not there, then you will take a multiple of the largest number. This basic idea, this basic idea, please make a note of it, sir. All questions which are given in exams are conceptual questions. You should be very, very good in concepts. Smallest number, HCF. 150. 150 it is not dividing 175. So here it is an odd number. Here it is an odd number. 50 I will not take. 25. 25. 25 sevens are 175. Dividing. 25 thirteens are 325. Dividing. Answer for this question is 25. 
Answer for this question is 25. Answer for this question is 25. This is one way to solve. You can easily say other three options are wrong. Other three options are wrong. Easily you can say. You don't need to take the factor of 150 also. Concept is HCF of 13, 26. HCF of 13, 26. If I take this example, right? Input smallest number is 13. 13 is dividing 26. 13 is dividing 26. So answer is 13. If the answer is 13, listen carefully to this point. If the answer is 13, whenever you are finding an HCF, if the answer is K, input every number should be a multiple of K. If this is a multiple, answer is 13, input every number should be a multiple of 13, then only the answer will be a multiple of 13. If D option is saying 13, Input every number should be divisible by 13. 150 is not divisible by 13. So 13 is eliminated. Again I am repeating this point. Input every number is divisible by 13. Then only answer will be divisible by 13. If answer is 13, input all the numbers should be divisible by 13. It is not possible. If 13 is not possible, 26 how it will be possible? 26 is derived from 13. 26 is derived from 13. Can 17 be the answer? 17 cannot be the answer. If 17 is the answer, input every number should be divisible by 17. 150 is not divisible by 17. 150, it is not divisible by 17. So answer for this question is 25. I told you why 25 is the right answer because of this method. Why other three are also incorrect? Why other three are also incorrect? Again, I am repeating. If answer is 13, input every number should be divisible by 13. Not possible. If answer is 17, input every number is divisible by 17. 150 is not divisible by 17. I hope the idea it is very much clear to you.